Dear friends, my name is Robert Altman and thank you for joining us for prayer today. We in the Oblitz community are grateful that you are joining us and continue to join us on this, our Advent journey. May our prayers be a support to one another during the season of hopeful waiting. This is a difficult time of year, uh, it's a challenging time in relation to where we are with the pandemic, but it's also a time of gratefulness and being hopeful. And I want to take this opportunity to thank all those frontline workers, um, scientists, and everyone who is playing their part to ensure we get through this pandemic. We have a lot of things to be grateful for. Firstly, the vaccination program, the rollout of it, how successful it is going. Most people have had their second jab and now they're onto their third, their booster. So, it's, so we have that layer of protection, which is absolutely phenomenal and it's keeping people safe. That's amazing. And we want to be truly grateful and thank you, thankful to those scientists who have created this miracle. Secondly, we need to be thankful for um, our families, our loved ones, our people around us who check in with us, who call us, who send us a text just to see if we're okay. And finally, we need to be grateful for our faith. Our faith is a comfort. We're part of a community. We have seen the model of Christ by how he dealt with difficult times. We follow that model to the best of our ability to get us through this difficult time. As we prepare for the celebration, the Christmas celebration and the great gift, gift of Christ among us, let us remember in a special way those people in our lives who perhaps are feeling isolated lonely or ill. Let us take a moment or a few moments of silence to just bring those people, those loved ones into our heart. And we ask God to send down the Holy Spirit to watch over these people, these loved ones, these family members, and give them comfort. Amen. As we begin our time of prayer together, we do it with the Christian symbol of hope, the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us pray. Holy God, you became weak, so we would find strength in moments of heartbreak. You set aside your glory to hold our pain, so we might be healed. So come now, child of Bethlehem, to strengthen us in these challenging times. May we feel your presence in a way we have never known. Not just as one born in a stable long ago and far away, but as one born in our hearts now and forever. Amen. It is appropriate to take a reading from Isaiah. So I take Isaiah 44. Do not be afraid, Jacob my servant, for I will pour water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry grounds. I will pour out my spirit on your offsprings and my blessing on your descendants. They will spring up like grass in a meadow, like poplar trees by flowing streams. Some will say, I belong to the Lord. Others will call themselves by the name of Jacob. Still others will write on their hands, the Lord, and will take their name of Israel. 
what I say to them is, do not be afraid. I am your Lord and I will keep you safe. So just a few reflections on that reading of Isaiah. It's very much on the theme of protection, safety, uh, comfort and hope. And it's very mindful at this challenging time of COVID and Omicron that we, we stop, we pause, we breathe and we be still. And take our mind away from the anxiety and the fears and bring it to gratitude. The gratitude, first of all, of those loved ones around us, those people who check in with us on a daily basis to see how we are, to show us love, to drop us a text. Also to be grateful for those people who are working tirelessly to bring an end to this pandemic. If it's the scientists coming up with these new medicines, the frontline workers who are working day and night to give us the best care, or the global leaders who are trying so very hard to ensure that we have the best protection around us. So let us be hopeful, let us be grateful. Two years ago, when this pandemic started, we didn't have a vaccine. Now we do, now we're on our third booster. So what will 2022 bring for us? What new medicines, what new hope? We've seen in history that pandemics come and they go, they end. So this will be no different. But in the meantime, it's a time of reflection, it's a time of prayer, it's a time of keeping safe, it's a time of hope, and it's a time to say thank you. Thank you that I'm alive, thank you of people around me, and thank you that I'm able to be part of this Christian journey. Christ has shown us through many parables, challenging times, but there is always hope. I'm also struck by the fact of, in the reading in Isaiah, the first phrase is written, do not be afraid. And I would like to conclude on that point. O oh Lord, I invite you into my life and surrender my life to your hidden work. Lord, keep me safe, love me, and give me strength during difficult times. So as we conclude, I just want to thank you for joining us today for prayer. I wish you well. I'll keep you in my prayers and stay safe. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace.